Hi, today's question is why do a course when I can get all I need for free on the internet? If you can get all you need for free on the internet, that's great. Um, many of us, I think, don't have the skills to find all of the things we need all the time, generally. So um, there are benefits. Obviously, the internet can provide a huge amount of information for free and permaculture. There's a lot of little permaculture videos up and about on the internet, which is great. Um, very exciting to see permaculture. It's so easily accessible to people. It's very different from when I started um, in the 1990s. So why do a course? Well, I'd say there are certain aspects to doing a course which will that you can't replicate online, certainly not very easily, and particularly if you're just looking at videos on YouTube, for instance. So one of them is the uh, the social aspect, the fact that you're learning with a, a group of other people of like minds. So many people find that one of the most important things that comes from doing a permaculture course, whether it's two days, four days, two weeks, six weekends, whatever it is, is being able to connect with other people of a like mind, feeling that they're not this lone crazy person <laughs> surrounded by, or a lone sane person created, cre uh, surrounded by insanity. And so so coming on a course is not just about the information that's being learned, it's very much about uh, who you meet, the connections you make, um, but also the ability to learn with other people. Very often um, we see things in different ways, so we can learn from each other or learn the material by working with other people, co cooperating in that learning process. Um, another thing is the focus of doing a course, particularly a two-week residential course, for instance, if you do 10 days, 12 days, two weeks, whatever it is, um, it's a very focused experience. And some people find that too much. Um, in a sense, we're kind of drifting into the realm of, do I, if I'm doing a course, do I do six weekends or two weeks? And it's very much about what is your situation. If you're doing a course in person, then obviously the thing that you have to do is to travel there. And so some people are geographically isolated and it's very difficult for them to get to an in-person course, in which case the, the internet can provide something that is much more difficult to access in person. Of course, there's a cost to doing a, an in-person course as well. Um, you need to pay for food and accommodation and to some degree the teaching as well. So there's a financial cost. So there are pros and cons to both. I would say what a course does is it puts the information together in a very structured way. It supports you in learning from the bottom up. So you, you get the basics and then you build on that. And there's a lot of interactivity. So you, you'll be doing practical exercises on the design courses I teach, which is not unusual. There will be um, design activities. So you're actually taking the learning and applying it to your garden if it's a go home and come back for the next weekend kind of course or a place on site you'll be designing as part of a group on site looking at um, a particular area with a real client uh, with real limitations which is very important that's the real world and um, and that for me is is a way of really supporting the learning whereas for me if I'm just watching a video it's very easy to get distracted by other things um, you know, there are always things going on in the house <laughs> that need dealing with um, and in the garden, things that are demanding my attention. So watching a video is great, but also it can might be 5, 10, 15 minutes and then I'm off doing something else. So a course allows you to focus on permaculture learning in a chunk of time and supports you in building up the knowledge and answering the questions you have, which of course is something that's very difficult to do of a video, although something I'm trying to cure with this little video series is that you can ask me questions through the website and um, I'll pick my favourites and answer them as best I can. So why do a course? Um, I would say for many reasons. Um, it will cost you some money, but I think it's a much more focused way of learning. You work with other people, you get to build a network, um, you can ask questions if you're unclear about what something means you've got that two-way interaction and it doesn't necessarily work for everybody we don't all have the finances to do it or the geographical location um, that we can get to 
but uh, if you can, I highly recommend it. It's the way I've learnt permaculture and the way I've found the best way to teach it as well.